Welcome. My name is Wes, and I am sharing my personal marbling technique with you today. Be sure to check out the website palmettorod.com and follow me or my wife Mary on Facebook through the Southern Rod Builders or on Instagram at Palmetto Rod and Reel. The first thing you need to do is collect the supplies. You will need epoxy, mixing cups, a mixing utensil, which I use a cheap paintbrush to mix. You will also need acrylic paint, a metal spatula, a pick, and a heat gun. In this video, we are using a white blank, so the colors will show up a little more than as if it was on a black blank. So keep that in mind whenever doing your testing. Here you see the epoxy has an orange tint. It is old epoxy and cannot be seen once completed. I froth the epoxy for this technique because the acrylic paint pushes all the bubbles out. The next step is to use heat to pop any major bubbles and get the epoxy flowing. On our heat gun, I use 220 degrees Fahrenheit for doing this. Next, get the colors of paint you wish to use. Shake them very well as they separate after sitting. Folk Art brand has worked best for us, and that's the brand we're using in this video. You will want to put a half dollar size of paint in the cup. We mix three milliliters of part A and three milliliters of part B for this video. Mix the colors until they are the consistency of melted cheese. This allows the colors to not combine by being so thick. With the rod under power, apply your base coat. I just throw it on there, let it wrap around the rod. Then I will come back with a spatula to even out the base coat. Once coated, use your second color to go over the top of your base. This is where you will want to practice your technique and designs. If you ever want to be able to repeat the same look, you have to be consistent. Once you have the second color on, repeat for any additional colors. I then take the dental pick with the rod still under power and apply enough pressure to make the lines going around the blank up and down one time each way. I then take the pick and draw lines parallel to the blank as evenly as possible. Then repeat the lines around the blank up one time, down another.
Once done, I use heat one more time at 140 degrees Fahrenheit to even it all out. Once dried, I top coat the marbling until even. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching and have a great day. It's a great day for it.